since I've gotten my iPod, I've made two videos. One was me unboxing it, and two was me showing you what I had had before. Well, by the post that I've read on my page, it's come to my attention that some people who are considered getting an iPod really don't know how to use the iPod with iTunes. So I thought a very quick little tutorial would help you guys out. This is my USB connector. Connector that comes with your iPod. This end hooks here. And there is a little symbol. I don't know if you can see it very well. Right there. Make sure that is always facing up. Like so. Plugs in there. If you want to unplug it, there's a little clip, little push points on each end. USB, Apple side down, USB emblem side up. And there. What we're doing right now is waiting. And there's iTunes. Let's maximize that. I don't know if you can see that. And this is what the iPod displays. Notice the connection. Notice the connection. Let me point out some very interesting features. This is the control bar. This is your slide it down. This part right here, devices. That is the iPod. Here's your music, movie, TV, all that. Case in point, music. See? Movies, I don't have anything in there. What I am going to show you, minimize this down. This is what I do. Is this movie? I'll play it. A story that is entertaining. You think that would be a crowd pleaser? Not anymore. It's funny. Exciting. Excitement, adventure, really wild things. It's not very big, but... It's nearly all the adjectives you like to think up. Food. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. It's being played through iTunes. Now back to over here. Here is... Movies again. Notice nothing. Sorry for tearing us. Drag it down and watch. See what it's doing? There we go. Notice what this is doing. The same thing it did before. So that's one way you can do it. You can just drag stuff off your desktop. If it were music, you go to music and you drag it off your desktop. Or if you want to, you can go over here and import. You can even pull it off desktop, which is a bit redundant, but you get the idea. Now I'll show you something very, very important. Notice the icon. It looks a little bit like an eject symbol. Well, the reason it's there, that's how you, at least from a software standpoint, disconnect your iTunes from your iPod. You can't read it, but it says eject, and you may now disconnect the device. I usually just wait until it pops up on one of the main screens. And there's one of the main screens. Now let's scroll to videos. There it is. And I'll press play. Ta-da! And see this right here? 
that emblem is the battery that lets you know it's charging you charge your iPod via this cable I'll just disconnect and there we go